Um, so if we're going to take a holistic perspective on the classroom and if we're going to think about our learning spaces as, um, as communities that um, are inclusive to everyone that's present, uh, we need to recognize that trauma is everywhere in the classroom and we need to be trauma informed for everyone's benefit. And we also need to do that from a variety of different cultural perspectives, right, to meet the diversity of that classroom. We are creating programming that cares for students. We're helping them graduate. Because, see, the key is, is a lot of times when kids who have trauma um, behave or not behave in a school, behave in a certain way or not behave in a certain way in a school, and they get released from the school or expelled or suspended or whatever, and they come to a program like mine, a lot of times they already feel they're extricated or kicked out or um, removed from their school community. And as we know, the, the idea of a school community and, and feeling a member of a community and, uh, is what leads to positive engagement. So one of the things that our teachers, my teachers in all of my programs do very, very well is to be able to give the student who comes into the program already feeling um, disassociated, already feeling that rejected, already feeling that nobody wants them, is that they give them a place that, where they belong. And when you can give a, case, a student a place where they belong, then they will open up about their life experiences, some of which is trauma, much of which is trauma in my programs, um, and, and talk about how those have affected their lives. It gives the teachers an outlet to be able to help these kids because of what they've experienced in their lives and program more specifically towards them. You have a class of 30 kids running around screaming, one kid punches another in the face. We've all been there. Your first instinct sometimes is to yell or to, I don't know, like hit the desk or to turn the lights off. You don't really know if those are triggers, if those are going to invoke negative responses in children. It might not even be the kid who you're going out to, like pulling out of the class and sending home or giving detention to. Children tend to take on what they see and what they feel and it's so, so easy to have an impact on them, but you might not see that impact right away. Um, something that I was always taught was to not necessarily see a bad child as a bad child. You see a child in pain that needs to be nurtured through it. Um, so what some people might see as something that needs to be um, punished with a, a firm consequence, I think now we're learning to look at it through another perspective as what can we do to get this child out of this and give them the tools to cope and to grow, which is kind of an amazing thing to see.